script. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekakwadash, double and three unto the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. He told the Akim so wide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the chairman of that camp. Just about to quick edification, three spirits of the most I have, Basham and Shai. Edification today is don't take the job. Yeah, don't take the job. But you know, um, we have this so-called pandemic going on. Um, as a resolution, Easter will have rolled out his program on taking a job. So, this is my contribution based upon that. That, hey, don't be fooled. Don't take the job. And there are some scriptures and there are some explanations as well. Why not too? So, I'll start with Psalm chapter 118 and verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord the Harbash Shemeshai than to put confidence in man. And some of you people, you forget. You people think that Esau is your friend. And he saw loves you and he saw this buddy buddy guy with you. But he don't love you. He wants to destroy you. Because you are the servants of the most high have a shame shy. You know, you are the chosen people. The Negroes, Latinos and natives. You know? So throughout history, he saw us, you know, put you in slavery. They have brought you, they have killed you, they have hanged you. You name it, Esau will have done it. So after treating you so bad, and up to today, he's still putting all these chemicals in your food, you know, giving you GMO foods to eat. And you go on, and on and on, on the wickedness that he's keep on doing. Why now, he will turn around and want to help you in the way of taking a job? How does that make sense? How is that logical? Put your trust in the most I have, Hashem and Shai. You know, don't pay confidence in that man. You will feel with him. Just how his kingdom is going to fall, you're going to fall as well. And the most I put all the herbs in the land for healing. You know, he never, he never, he never gave you any medicine that, that he saw would have concocted in some lab some way no he, he will give you medicine from the earth <clears throat> I'll, I'll go into that another time I'm um, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says, Trust in the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. And the reason why I bring up that lean not into thy own understanding is that I had a, um, I actually had a dream that I was, I went in a grocery, a supermarket, and in the dream, he was going up to the cashier, and the cashier asked you, if you're interested in getting a job. And I didn't answer. So I just was cashing and going up. And as soon as I reached up to the cashier, you know those, they actually had a technology where the job, you no longer need a needle to get it. So she just, it was a, a needleless job. Like an aerosol would just pass through your, your skin and go into your, into your bloodstream. And she took it up and put it by my hand. And as soon as she pressed the knob to let it out, I moved my hand. And it fly out in the air. And she tried that three times to give me the job. And it fly out in the air. And then she just gave up. And I just went. And hey, that goes to show. Because in the dream, he saw I had an atmosphere and like music playing. To make you feel all comfortable in taking the job and making you believe that this is what you want. But for a split second, you know, 
It was like, that's what you see, this this. I, I didn't take the job, you know? So, be not until your own understanding, but trust in the Lord, you have Hashem and Yishai all the time. Because this man has all different vibrations out there to fool you, to make you believe in what you see with your eyes, but it's not real. But what will happen to him and his whole kingdom if you go ahead and join his 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 agenda, you all you all will end up in the same conclusion. Job chapter eighteen and verse fourteen. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. And that king of terrors is the most high of Hashem Yishai. So the king of terrors, as they were talking about in Revelation chapter 1, when he come back on cloud. Hey, Esau is going to be destroyed and any other person who takes that mask is going to be destroyed as well. That mark is, 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 is not spiritual. That job is wicked. You know? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Also known as a rock. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And you can't trust Esau. You can never trust Esau because one time an iron will be good. And as soon as it started to rust, that's the end of it. So you can never trust Esau just like you can never trust a piece of iron. Do trust the man. The man, the man is wicked. Verse so 13. So Mark 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts? And he saw he's a brute beast, he's a wild beast because he's walking on all, all fours. He do have the laws of the Musa of Hashem and Shai. He is lawless. So when you go to him and you get bitten, and you, you, you get caught in his trap, and you lose your soul, who will not have pity for you? Because as they rightfully say, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? What are you doing by a serpent in the first place? He saw the devil, leave him alone. Stay away from him and all the devices that he has. It's wicked. It's witchcraft. It's a different vibration. Nothing to do with the most high of Hashem and Shai. Yeah, so... Psalm chapter 2 and verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people eva- imagine it being thin? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and let us cast away their cords. But he that sitteth in heaven shall laugh, the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai shall have them derision. Because he saw things that this thing is a, 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 a physical thing. Where he can fool the servants of the Mosai of Hashem and Shai. But the Mosai is a spiritual aspect. Because he saw if this, wasn't, if this was all about physical, then when you die, your soul will not leave your body. But when you die, you will still be able to speak. But just to show that you are in control, when your spirit leaves your body, goes back to the Musa Esau. So because of that physical and spiritual part, the Musa will always open up the eyes of the prophet through dreams, through visions, and through the word of the Musa of Hashem and Shai. So you can't fool us. You can bring all your fancy, nice technology to fool us. You can't fool us. The Musa will always send a message to us. So, then shall he speak unto them in his rod, verse 5, 
and vex them in his sore displeasure. So, hey, go serve this man in this kingdom. Because he could not serve us. He, he, he saw is our servant. It's just because we break the law, as a commandment, as the most high of Hashem Shai, we serve in him. But he will ultimately serve us. So look at tricking this man wicked ways. As I said, oh Johnny, don't take the job. You know? So I hope this was any fine to you. What happened? Shalom be unto you. This is the one from Israel Mashallah account. Shalom.